So you're taking a live look right now at the Falcon 9 rocket. It's on launch pad 39A. On Wednesday, storms moved across the Kennedy Space Center, forcing a scrub. The potential for disruptive weather is pegged at 50% for Saturday. News 6's James Barbero has the details. We will feel no pressure. We will go when we are ready. Safety is the highest priority. The safety of the first Crew Dragon astronauts, Bob Behnken and Doug Hurley. NASA emphasizing it's not just weather around pad 39A that matters. The conditions of the flight path also have to be considered in the hypothetical emergency. The astronauts have to abort going to the International Space Station and land Dragon in the ocean. The challenge is that a launch could in fact trigger lightning. The rocket itself could become a lightning bolt. That's why Demo 2's countdown was delayed from Wednesday until tomorrow afternoon at 322. Although Saturday's forecast for liftoff is just 50-50. So NASA says it's possible launch day is delayed again to Sunday or Tuesday or Wednesday. We could put ourselves in a position where we're doing back-to-back -back wet dress rehearsals. We have to start considering the human factors of that because it wears everybody out, including our astronauts. NASA and SpaceX are further discussing with the Space Force's weather squadron for Saturday, weather officers say rain and clouds continue to be top concerns. Right now it's very similar to Wednesday. However, good news on Sunday, some things are starting to weaken to the front. It's moving further south for drier air to build into the area. And the astronauts are familiar with weather delays. Bankin and Hurley flew on space shuttle missions that were scrubbed several times before finally launching. On the Space Coast, I'm James Sparvero getting results, News 6.